for your, your kind of weather now? Whew, man, this is beautiful. <laughs> Everybody good? All right, turn it loose. Questions? Oh man, I think the two things always is number one, get some guys rested. Um, certainly plenty of guys who uh, have played a lot of football and had some physical games, getting them uh, rehab and rested was, was I think critical. And I think from the staff again, so much of it is uh, you're going from one week to the next, the bye week gives you a second to slow down, really analyze what you're doing well, what you need to improve on, and uh, extremely valuable for us there. Vanderbilt dominated the clock against Alabama. So when you have less possessions, what kind of pressure does that put on you guys to try to put some points up? Uh, I think it puts pressure for sure. Um, we kind of went that way as well in, in a couple of these games. You know, I think versus Ole Miss, of, I think we had it for about 40 minutes, and, and I think the Georgia game was similar to that. So, um, you know, again, we're, we're focused on whatever we got to do to win football games, and, and, and you're absolutely right. You get those limited possessions, you got to make those count, you got to try to steal some possessions. Uh, so, so that'll be uh, the battle certainly this week. Feels like the offense has kind of slowly kind of improved week by week. How do you? make sure that the Bowie doesn't stall that process progress. I think it's critical. We've had good, really good physical practices. You know, I think uh, certainly in the bye week we practiced three times, got guys good work. They've been out here working hard. Again, maybe there's uh, maybe there's always that, that part of just getting out of rhythm a little bit from, from taking a week off. But, but again, uh, we're working through it and, and uh, ready to go. What do you think a big play like the one Barry and had can – help him kind of break through after struggling to kind of stack up those weeks I, I think it's critical you know again for, for so many guys it's it's just the confidence thing you make one of those plays and then uh, it just kind of gets contagious and more guys keep making them um, again I think that's critical for us I think that's critical across the board when you look at college football right now creating those big plays is somewhat getting harder and harder when you're playing in this league uh, again we look at the scores across the league every week right now like it's not always what you expect it to be. So uh, limiting turnovers, creating explosives, going to be a critical thing, as we know, and, and that's what we're going to do. So why is it our defense is just playing to take away the big play? I think a little bit. More so, you know, more I so think, than they have in the past. I maybe. think so. And, uh, you know, sometimes you see it in the NFL right now, those games are lower scoring. And I just think everybody's on it. It used to probably just be the focus of, of turnovers. Now I think it's turnovers and explosives and what those do to the outcome of the game. So. Again, there's at times, you know, maybe I thought, hey, we'd be getting more tight coverage. We've been getting softer, softer coverage and had to take little by little. And, and I get, again, I think you're seeing that league wide. So, uh, but what that means is, is a lot of those explosive plays have got to come from, from balls caught underneath, making a guy miss, creating those explosive, uh, explosives both in the run and pass. And uh, that's what we're looking forward to. Push as Brock continues to make progress. What's the next step for him? Maybe on some of the sacks he's taken that he's holding on the ball too long. Is that just come with experience having since he hadn't started in so long? You know, I think a lot of that comes on on me as well. You know, and, and us analyzing uh, what are the things that we've got to do better to get the ball out of his hands. What are the protections that we have been better at? Um, so I think it always starts with with our staff. It starts with me in that regard. I think naturally, again, we've talked about this. This is the, this is the sixth game that the guy's played, and he is steady. He's got everything you want in a quarterback from a leadership standpoint, from a skill set standpoint. Uh, takes take a lot of the ownership on that with the protection piece, and he's got to just keep building. You've played a lot of 12 personnel. And in a lot of instances, you've asked those tight ends. Uh, help in pass protection. How, how did, have they performed in that aspect? Yeah, I think, I think they're doing a good job. They really are. You know, that position's got to get a lot of the dirty work done, um, as you guys know. And a lot of times from a matchup standpoint, they're going up against some of the best pass rushers in the country. You know, and so, uh, again, guys like Josh Caddis, Jordan Dingle, uh, Willie's doing a nice job. Kamori will continue to build. I think the biggest thing for this whole offense, as you guys know it, is it's – constant state of improvement one week at a time that's the message and uh, we just need to continue to take a, a step in that pass pro and if we do uh, I think it'll be a, a huge plus for us. What have you seen out of Vanderbilt's defense this season and most recently in that game against Alabama? Certainly playing really inspired you know on all levels I and mean, I think it's a talented group I think there's D linemen that we think are really good players there's good backers there's good secondary um, but, but it's a blue collar operation, you know, in a lot of ways, like the message in our building is they're probably a lot like us, you know, and, and they play with a chip on their shoulder. Uh, it's going to be a physical outfit. 
certainly, you know, head coach now calling it, the amount of defense he has. I mean, this is a this is a group that knows who they want to be, and, and this is a defensive coordinator that does an outstanding job of mixing a lot of different things. Yeah, Bush, I'm curious, like, from a coach's perspective, what was your initial reaction when you saw that sort of outcome? It's, it's such a rare thing that you sort of see, and it made its way around the college football world like in a blaze. How do you look at something like that initially, and then how does that also just open up and add to being like, hey, anyone can beat anybody in this league? Yeah, I think you said it. I think that's the reaction is across college football, and more so than anything in the SEC right now, you know, every game can go either way in a lot of those ways. I mean, uh, you know, you're certainly certainly happy for Vanderbilt to accomplish what they accomplished as just a football fan watching it, um, you know, win for, for them and, and probably how much work they've put in. But certainly watching them on both sides of the ball, the way they're playing, how inspired they're playing, um, it's going to be a great challenge for us. And, and I think that's the message you look across the board in this league. If you're feeling yourself one week, you could get hit in the mouth, and, and when you're coming off South Carolina and, and the world's crashing, you get right back to work and, and, and switch things up. That's the message is constant state of improvement one week at a time this is a long year, and, and these players have done a hell of a job with that. Coach, what else needs to happen for you guys to run the football even better? I know, you know, Brock's is comfortable at, on the second and floor. It's a lot more than the second and ten second. Yeah, I think we're doing a, a nice job of running the football. You look across the board, certainly against some of the better defenses in this league. Um, I think we obviously, you know, from a pass game standpoint, need to continue to complement our run game. Uh, you know, we've gotten different ball carriers uh, involved for us. I think, you know, the biggest thing is we need to create the big one, you know, and, and, and uh, there hasn't necessarily been the, the 40, 45 yard or 50 yarder uh, explosive type play. So a lot of it, uh, feels like little by little by little. I think if we can uh, create some of those big ones, make a guy miss, um, just like Barryon's play at the end of that game, that could be something that really springs us. But, but again, we've been pleased with the different ball carriers. I think Gavin Wimsatt's adding a nice dimension. You know, Brock's Demi, and there, there's a different group of guys that are doing that and bought into whatever it takes. Does it feel like Wilcox is supposed to pop in one of those big runs? I think so. I, I really do. You know, and I think. Uh, for a young guy again who's who's been in that situation who three weeks ago four weeks ago we maybe didn't think was gonna have the opportunities he's had it it comes that comes down for him weekly preparation and how do i keep getting better and what do i got to do better to to play as a as a young 18 19 year old and, and we're proud of what he's doing do you like where the, the package is with Winsat right now and what, what might you be able to add to it yeah i think uh it's it's always a fine tuning of that you know to make sure uh, like Brock's still out there and keeping him in rhythm and it's sometimes you never want to take the quarterback away from that position too long and so on and so forth but Gavin's done a tremendous job I think in a lot of ways you know nobody's as fired up for it as Brock because there's eight to ten runs a game that Gavin's taking some hits off of him and so uh, certainly want to continue to, to grow that package again this isn't you know, Gavin Wimsatt is not a wildcat quarterback. This is a guy that can throw it. You saw that against Ohio, and, and I think that's unique. And in, in, in the defensive looks we're getting are not looks to, to just stop him running the ball. They're certainly respecting his passing ability, and so we just got to continue to build that. Everybody good? Thanks, Coach. Thank you.